it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my bathroom. Today we are talking sick skincare. I'm on day six of COVID. Um, I am over the worst of it for sure. I'm feeling a lot better today, but I have to tell you I'm super bored. So I wanted to hop on and do this super casual video, just sort of sharing with you some of the products that have helped me get my skin through this illness. I have gotten questions in the past about what kind of skincare should you be performing when you are going through illness. So hopefully this video answers some questions for you. If you're so ready, let's jump right into the six skincare picks. Give the video a big thumbs up and let's get started. So first up, let's talk strategy when you're sick because all the other stuff in your skincare routine, treatments, all of the goals that you're working on, well aging, brightening, acne, it really doesn't matter. And I just want to like put that out there because I think we like, we know that it doesn't matter when you're sick. All that matters is getting your rest and getting yourself back up to health. But I think we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to really perfect our routines and really work on those goals. And so I just want to kind of like let you know it's okay. You know it's okay, but I want to say it out loud. It's okay to let that stuff go while you are sick. And for me personally, I just needed to focus in on cleansing and moisturizing. That's really all I had the energy to do and most days I feel like I didn't even have the energy for that um, But that's what made my skin feel good while I was sick So cleansing was so important for me because it's like all the clamminess all the like sweats All the just like grime of sickness and all the tissue residue and the mucus and the I just want a really good cleanser, but I could feel that my skin was uh, definitely feeling quite sensitive. So the cleanser that really got me through is the La Roche-Posay Gentle Foaming Cleansing Oil. This was partly convenience because it was sitting right on the side of my sink. <laughs> I'm like hovering over the sink, just washing my face, you know what I mean? Because of the exhaustion is just so much. And so this was right there and very convenient, but I have to say it was the right choice because like I said, it did feel like there's a film on my face. So like the really milky cleansers, just, I tried. They really weren't it. They're really nice and gentle, but I wanted something that had a nice gentle foam to it. This has a nice gentle foam to it, but it was still really respectful to my skin. So it was really that perfect balance of breaking through all that sick grime on my skin, washing away easily, cleanly, um, you know, cause I can't sit there and splash water on my face for 60 seconds. Like I just gotta get it done. So this really treated my skin well. And I have to say, you know, sometimes you are only gonna have the energy to cleanse your skin one time a day, right when you're sick. And I just wanna say A plus, you're doing a great job. If you've washed your face one time a day when you're sick, a plus if you wash your face two times a day when you're sick a plus plus and as i mentioned you know all the treatments and serums and all of that it may be a good time to let that fall away from your routine while you're uh, healing up and, and getting back to health so for me personally i didn't use any tretinoin during my sickness i could really feel that my skin like it just didn't need that extra push right now um so i skipped out on all of that and i really just focused in on number one cleansing and then number two just kind of balance balancing my skin. Um, love hydrating toner. It is probably, if you've watched my channel throughout the years, you know that I've shared with you that I would happily, you know, skip out on any essences and serums and all of that in favor of just toner. It really does help my skin. Um, and right now it's winter time. It is extremely cold. We're going through a really bad cold snaps about minus three outside right now. Uh, wind chills like minus 20. We just got dumped with like 12 inches of snow. So it's uh, cold. It's harsh. It's icy and windy. And inside, because the the heat's going all the time. It's very dry. I really need that hydrating product to help keep my skin comfortable. Uh, I've just been using the Soon Jung Relief Toner. I've um, been using that now for about two months, getting close to the end of the bottle. And so I didn't switch anything up. Uh, this is what I had, this is what I was using, and this is what got me through, it worked perfectly. You know, it's a bonus too that it's a really gentle, um, simple product. The ingredients are very minimal, and so, like I said, my skin was feeling a little bit more sensitive, so this really helped, and I just did about two layers. So after toner, I will mix Stradia Liquid Gold with the Stradia Fortify Oil. This is a step that, like, if you don't have my skin type, you probably don't need in your routine. My skin type, 
combination in the winter as I mentioned it's pretty bad right now um, my skin does lean dry so all the lipids in lipid gold or formerly known as liquid gold the ceramides the cholesterol the fatty acids really help fortify my skin barrier really help to condition my skin I do have a little bit of flaky skin right now and so that really helps condition my skin uh, soften it but it also really helps to strengthen my skin and when you know your immune system is working so hard your body is fighting off the infection it is possible that your skin barrier is going to be a little bit more weak and so this was a, a step that was important for me to not skip and to try to get the energy to put it on um, because it does make a really big difference in my skincare routine if you don't have barrier issues if your skin doesn't lean particularly dry or dehydrated this probably isn't a step that you need to think about when you're uh, thinking about sick skincare and and then finally, moisturizer. I love CeraVe moisturizing cream. It's straightforward. It gets to the point, right? Um, it treats my skin really well. I have been mixing in about a pea size amount of the La Roche Posay Cica Plus Balm. Now, this stuff's really great because there's some really soothing matacasticide in here, and that really helps when my skin feels kind of inflamed. My skin didn't really feel inflamed during my illness, but it definitely felt really sensitive. So the matacasticide just felt good on my skin and I think that it really helps to this cream because there's some um, ingredients in here that help to promote healing of the skin and because the skin around my nose and at my upper lip can get quite irritated from blowing my nose all the time um, I think that the soothing qualities and the healing qualities of this cream just help to keep my skin in good shape as it's going through a rougher period and it's a bit more vulnerable but I also, because as I mentioned, it's just the weather is just so harsh right now. The 1% of dimethicone in this cream kind of amps up or, or beefs up the CeraVe moisturizing cream. It makes it a little bit more protective. It does create a slightly more rich, a slightly thicker, luxurious cream texture that really just hugs everything in. And because I didn't do so many layers with all of my skincare, that little extra protection actually helps keep my skin hydrated and moisturized, helps protect it from dehydration. Um, and then that dimethicone just really, it's kind of slug, it's basically slugging, right? It just helps hug everything in. And so um, I had actually been doing this before I was sick, but while I was sick, it felt even better. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm thinking about it right now, like, oh, it just makes my skin feel restored. Uh, exactly that. That's the great word, restored. And that's really what I was seeking for with the minimal amount of time that I could manage to do my skincare routine. Uh, it definitely helped me out. So that was really the skincare that I used um, over the last week. That's really it. Um, I'll say there were a few times when I was having a little bit more energy or my cold medicine. You know, when you take cold medicine, there's like a period of like an hour to maybe two hours where you're feeling optimal. When I was feeling optimal, I might have thrown in the Make Preem Panthenol Essence. This just kind of like added a little extra hydration, a little extra moisture, a little extra plumpness into my skincare routine. It doesn't really do much for your skin besides balance it and soothe it. Um, so it wasn't really a necessary addition. It just kind of felt nice, like I said, when I had a little bit of extra time. And so that was really the core routine that I had the energy for. Um, and I think for some people, when you're really sick, that might even have felt like a lot um, for me it felt like the the right amount it was what I had energy for and it's what made my skin feel good I have a couple of tips for you um, when you are sick though you know if cleansing if standing like I was saying standing over the sink and like holding yourself up is too much <laughs> You may want to just consider having some micellar water um, by your bed and you can just use a cotton pad to to cleanse your face you really you know i always encourage you to rinse it if you can but you really don't need to when you're sick if that's the the minimum that you can do if that's the most energy you have it's absolutely fine and that can be a really helpful tip if you're sweating a lot too and it just doesn't feel good you can just wipe some micellar water on your face throughout the day also, if you do feel like your skin benefits from hydration, but again, standing at the sink or like getting a lot of toner on your hands, it's just too much. You want to stay in bed. You could also switch out toner for a mist if you have that at home. Um, misting can be a really nice way to get a couple of layers of hydration onto your face without really needing to use your hands without needing to be in a bathroom over a sink or, or anything like that. So that might make things 
a lot more accessible and easy for you. Um, those are kind of my tips for you. You can also carry some moisturizer around with you as well and just kind of top off as you go throughout the day. You may find that your nose area, as I mentioned, does get very raw. I do like to use something with petrolatum to kind of help protect that skin um, throughout the day as well. So like CeraVe Healing Ointment is a big one. Um, another use that I had for CeraVe healing ointment was around my eye area because when I get sick, my eyes can get very dry and scratchy. And because I'm just so prone to dryness in my eyes already, they do tend to leak and water a lot. And that makes the area, the, the skin around my eyes very dry and irritated. So I do like to put a little bit of CeraVe around the eye area as a protectant uh, to help seal moisture in and help protect against all that wateriness. So so that was another use. I found my eye area got very dry, but with the CeraVe, it was feeling a lot more moisturized. And it's a great protectant for, as I mentioned again, the nose area, the upper lip area too. You can also put it on your lips. The Solid In Lip Essence from Toradin. This has like ceramides in it and cholesterol. And so this was actually a really nice uh, lip balm to use. Uh, again, some area that can get very dry when you're feeling sick. This just helped keep my lips comfortable, smooth, and moisturized, and um, a little bit glossy, right? I have it on right now, a little bit glossy, so it was kind of like a nice, you know, when you're feeling like dead in bed, a little bit of a gloss on your lips kind of makes you feel a little bit perked up. I also forgot to mention, you know, if your eyes are feeling that real like tight, scratchy, uh, dryness from being sick. I really do like these refresh eye drops. Um, these are the omega-3 eye drops. They have omega-3 in them. Um, these are the eye drops that I just use um, on a regular basis to help treat my uh, dry eyes. And they do come in these individual vials. They don't contain preservatives, which can uh, be an irritant to the eyes, especially for long-term use. So I just wanted to mention that these actually really helped keep my eyes moisturized. When you keep your eyes hydrated or moisturized right when they're feeling dry, if you are prone to like that leaky kind of a watery eye, it actually helps to cut down on that. So that helped me along with the CeraVe healing ointment around the eyes to keep that area um, free from irritation and dryness. And then finally, I just wanted to mention Epsom salts. Uh, you may not have the energy to take a bath. Um, for a lot of my sickness, I did not, but it was actually very, very, very healing to take a nice hot bath. Um, once I was feeling the energy to get into one, uh, really helped my chest conge congestion and my muscle aches, which were really bad at the beginning of my sickness. Um, Epsom salts can actually help. This is just from Target. Um, just They're very, very affordable. Epsom salts contain uh, magnesium sulfate, which really help to ease achy uh, muscles, tension in muscles. I use this a lot when my muscles are sore from working out as well. Um, so Epsom salts can be an amazing soak for your body. Um, and they actually, I find they do have a benefit for the skin as well. This is something I've noticed well before I was sick, um, uh, occasionally uh, bathing with Epsom salts and really you know, washing your face with some um, of the Epsom salt water from the bath has a gentle clarifying effect if you do suffer with some breakouts, which I do occasionally. Um, the magnesium sulfate does help to reduce inflammation and redness on the skin. It can also be helpful for eczema, psoriasis, rosacea, inflammation-based skin conditions. Um, it, can, it can help with that, and so I have noticed that it can help. Like I said, I don't think you need to be worried about breaking out and stuff when you're sick. You just need to focus on your health. But it can be a secondary benefit, um, getting a little bit of skin clarifying, especially if you are feverish, if you're clammy, if you're sweating a lot during your sickness, you may be concerned about your skin getting a bit more congested from the sweat. I know I was a little bit. And so the Epsom salts can be um, beneficial if you do have the energy um, to get into a bath. And speaking of energy, folks, that's all I got today. <laughs> you know, I have been going a bit stir crazy. On top of being sick with COVID and not being able to go anywhere, we just got dumped with 12 inches of snow. So like the cabin fever is real right now. Um, I have been listening to audiobooks a lot. I've watched more TV in the last week than I have in probably two months. So it was really fun to get in front of the camera and share this with you um, because I 
you know what I mean? I gain strength from you. I can feel your love and your, your energy, but I also wanted to share this because like I said, um, quite a few people have asked about this in the past. And so I wanted to create that resource of things that have helped me and just spend some time with you as well. So I am wishing you health during this season, you know, cold, flu and COVID season. It's real. It's not fun, so I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe. I want to thank you for being here with me today. I love you so, so much, and I'll see you again soon in the next video. Bye.